lost you. It's Christy with Kendra Ramblings back again. Um, I think this is a record. I, I managed to do this like three times in two months. So that's pretty good. Uh, I have gotten a lot of stitching done and I do have an update on our little winner for our Stick Horse Designs mouse at the end of the video. Uh, so if you don't want to listen to me ramble on, you can <laughs> fast forward to the end of the video. But uh, I have a lot of stitching to show you, so that's good. I have a lot to show for these three weeks. I've almost three weeks I've been gone, um, and it's just been we're just been hanging around the house. The weather's crazy. It's cold. It's hot. I'm in Northwest Florida, so um, right now it's a little chilly. We had hail the other morning at two o'clock in the morning and woke everybody in the house up. Um, it was like we were under attack. It was crazy, but we managed not to, nothing happened to the cars that were parked outside or anything. So we were, we were blessed in that respect and everybody's safe and sound. So that's good. But the weather can't make up its mind. I don't know if it wants to be cold or hot or what it wants to be, but hopefully spring is here because I've decorated my house for spring. So that means it's coming. Um, but let's get on to some of the things I've been working on because that's the exciting part and that's what we're all here for, right? Let's do a look at each other's stuff. So for whips, I have winter sampler and I have made quite a bit of progress. Um, I'm almost halfway. All the top half is almost finished. I just have a few more things to add like the snowflake, the big snowflakes up top up here. Hopefully you can see this. My son says if it's on my face. I still have a whole lot more to go though. I need to add the little birds to this tree. And as you can see, I the two sets of flowers on either side, is gonna get onto me because it's gonna be blurry. On either side, one set is one color and one set is another. And it's not meant to be that way, but I got my blue greens mixed up. And so I'm just gonna leave it because in life, sometimes flowers come up and they're different colors. Sometimes no matter how we plant them, they come up and they're different colors. So this is Winter Sampler by Crochet A Go Go, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it's a beautiful pattern. And here it is, gorgeous pattern, printed from Etsy. I just bought it off her Etsy shop. Insta gratification, she sends it to you. You can download it, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, secondly, I have been working on, oh boy, Let's see. This is all this is all the threads for Winter Sampler. Now, last 2 weeks ago when we talked, I said I was going to start working on 101 Alphabets by Rosewood Banner. And I made a promise that I was going to start and I did, but I also told a lie. So, I feel like there's two truths and a lie thing, but I said I was not going to get all the DMC out. I was just gonna work on one alphabet at a time. But to be truthful, I got tired of being up and down, up and down, up and down, and to the cabinet. So I just decided to pull all the threads, all the floss. So this is all the floss that I need for 101 alphabets. And this cute little bag is from a shop on Etsy. Isn't this adorable? Can you see this little bag? She makes these little bags and this is like a little box pattern. This is beside the point, but anyway, isn't this cute? <laughs> I always have to show you cute things. But 101 Alphabets, here is the book. I have copied as my working copy page one, two, and three, and so I've not passed there, but I'm doing pretty well, so I'm gonna show it to you. And I got a yard of fabric, so it's kind of a big, big to do here, but anyway. This is how far I've gotten on 101 alphabets, 101 alphabets by Rosewood Manor. And hopefully you can see them. They're, some of them are very tiny. And I think I've gotten one, two, three, four alphabets completed and some motifs, like some straw, those little strawberries. But I love this one. And um, a lot of people said 
they wouldn't attempt it. I probably wouldn't either a long time ago, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited about it. Okay, moving on. I'm going to talk about some of my finishes. So hold on just a second. Okay, as far as finishes go, I've got a mess over here. I finished two projects since we last spoke. I like how, don't you like how I say we last spoke? You haven't spoken to me, spoken to me, but I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking to you. Uh, whether anybody's listening or not, I'm speaking. So here we go. I finished Everything is Satisfactual. I talked about this last time on uh, my channel. Super cute. Hopefully you can see that. And a wonderful uh, follower told me that about the zippity doo da pattern, and I do own that um, from Lottie Da. I do have that. I just haven't started it. I've done a couple of Lottie Da's, and I like their patterns, um, but I just haven't started that one yet. It's down down there in the stuff to do pile. I know you have one of those. <laughs> okay, and then I finished Lizzie Kate Halloween ABC. And this wasn't even on the list to start. I don't know how I manage. You know, you just are sitting around and you're like, I want to start a Halloween. And Lizzie Kate is always the answer. So I finished this one. I changed some things on this. And I'll tell you why. Um, and it's hard to see. Let me grab this felt board. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten with my felt board. Anywho. Okay, so I, well, that's not helpful. I changed, I added some eyes on the ghost because I just felt he was sad without some eyes. So I put some little French knot eyes. This Frankenstein monster right here was supposed to be beige and I made him green because I've never seen a beige Frankenstein monster. I thought he needed to be green and I liked that change. And there was one other, oh, I changed up the broom. The broom on the witch was all one color. Like it was all charted as brown, I think. And I've changed it up for a brown stick and white or yellow straw. And I changed the way it was formed because I think it looks more like a broom that way. But anyway, I love Lizzie Kate. And I like those couple little changes. That's what I love about. I usually don't stray too far from patterns because I'm a rule follower by nature, but you know, little touches here and there never hurt anybody. I'm trying to put that felt board up. <laughs> Sorry. I can't stand things just laying around. Okay. So those are the finishes for this week. Let me set those up there. And then I have some FFOs and I have quite a few, but some are from past, from the past, but I could let um, Easter come without showing them off because one of them is from the Make Stuff Be Happy blog. And if you follow my blog and have, or my blog, if you follow the, my channel and have for a long time, this is one of the very first things I ever finished and showed, but I have to show it again because every time Easter rolls around, it just makes me smile to bring this one back out. And this is a wooden frame my husband made from spalted pecan wood. And he just cut out the insert and I sandwiched it between the two pieces here and he made the back, made it for me. So this is from the Make Stuff Be Happy blog, this little pattern, and it is the cutest little thing. And I just adore this one. This is one of my favorite pieces to bring out in springtime every year. Of course, I have to add a yo-yo to it. Okay, and the second thing that is a prior finish but I had to show off is the 10 pin carrot from Bent Creek. And you probably can't see that because I see it's gonna try to focus on me and he's gonna get on to me because I'm, there we go. 10 pin carrot, isn't that adorable? I have the 10 pin flag finished but it's not in its frame yet. I'll have to show that when it comes closer to 4th of July. But that's the 10 pin carrot. And I think that's adorable. And then I talked about just another button company kits last week. And I talked about I was going to make the bee and the little bunny butt, <laughs> little bunny hiney pattern. And I have made the bee. I have not made the bunny yet. I was going to wait till closer to Easter to make that one because I just wanted to get the bee done for the all the bee sal 
Um, I'm going to post that one on Instagram. But I wanted to show these two. This is the cutest little rabbit from last year that I made. It's not from last year. I'm not sure when it when it was released, but I made it last year. Isn't that the cutest little pincushion bunny? And then, adorable. And a little just another button company button. And it's not a cross stitch, but it's friends of cross stitch because just another button company has cross stitch patterns. I love their, their stuff. And then this is the little chick. Is that adorable? Look at his little feet. So that's the little chick. And I love these kits because if you purchase the kit, it comes with almost everything you need. I mean, I'm almost everything. Not the scissors, of course, but, and maybe some, you need to get some thread or maybe a little tiny button here or there, but usually they have everything you need in the kit. If you purchase the kit. And then the cutest, well, they're all cute, but this is the Just Another Button Company B spool pin cushion that I just made. Just finished this one. Is that adorable? Can you see? So cute. So this is the, and it's on a spool with some little flowers, cute little antenna. But this is from Just Another Button Company kit. Very easy to put together. I think this one took me like 20 minutes or so. I just had to cut. You do have to cut a few things, but they provide the felt and the pattern. So I think these were cut for me. The little, these flowers were die cut. I think I just had to cut this in half, cut this um, wolf felt ball in half and cut out these leaves for the flower. But super cute. And what I like about Just Another Bun Company is that you can purchase their patterns and purchase your own supplies. Um, and it might be cheaper that way. I don't, I don't know. But I just like everything. I'm like one-stop shopping. I, I like to have it. Know it's all there. Don't have to worry about it. Because I live an hour from Hobby Lobby. An hour from Target. We moved out here to the country. And so it's hard to get these places when I need just a few things. Okay. And then let's see. What else? Oh, I finished... It's, it's late, but I, in the nick of time, I finished Holiday Hoopla by With Thy Needle and Thread. Adorable little ornament. I have all of these ready. I think I finished two. I have the rest of the holidays to go. I, I know I did 4th of July, this one, and one other one. But this is... St. Patrick's Day Holiday Hoopla. And then the last FFO I have to share is my Roveris piece. And here, I'd finish this for the hashtag all the bees sal. And I talked about that uh, two weeks ago, but this is adorable little fob, scissor fob. And the bee spool and it, I was able to purchase these seam rippers from Rivera's and then these are my scissors. I think there's a cat out there. There is a cat out there wanting in. They always want in. All right, so those are my FFOs for this time. Moving right along to haul. Oh boy. Um, I was on, oh, I belong to Prairie Schooler Students Group on Facebook. And there was a lady that was on there and she posted her January through December monthly Prairie Schoolers on, she had finished them on 40 count, six by six, six on the top row, six on the bottom row. And it, on, it was amazing. 40 count, one over two, I think she said. And I thought, well, I need to do that. So of course, here we go. I hopped on one, two, three stitch, and I had to purchase all of 12 Prairie Schooler books January through December because I did not own one of them. I have done a lot of the um, Halloween and the Christmas Prairie Schooler that are these the same size, but I have not purchased any of the January through December. So that may be, it's on 40 count. That may be in 2040 by the time I get it finished, but I need to figure out how big of a size piece I need. 
and I also need to figure out the time to do it. <laughs> but wouldn't that, I, if you have a chance, and it, I don't, it's on, well, I posted on my Instagram story of her, her actual project, but it is just amazing. I mean, just amazing. I loved it from, and I saw it and I had to have it. So I purchased all and I love the one, two, three stitch. I got some of the newer patterns and some of the old cardstock books. So some of mine are new, some of mine are old, but at least I have all 12 of them now. And I'm glad that they reprinted these um, because if not, we would all be searching for those Perry schoolers that we love to stitch because I always have to, I was talking to somebody the other day, I always have to have a prairie schooler going because there's just something about a prairie schooler that you just can't beat. And I did order a lot of things from Market through Brick City. Um, Linda Newton is fantastic. She does, uh, puts them out on Brick City's page, all of the um, new releases, and you're able to, if you have signed up through Brick City and they have your information, you're able to order there and She's fabulous about ordering those things, and that's a lot to do, I'm sure. It keeps her very busy, but I do have a, those coming, and so that's exciting. I don't even remember what I bought, so it'll be like Christmas because I have no idea. <laughs> I just, well, if I saw it and I liked it, um, I said, me please. Um, it's easy to say me please when you're on the internet. And I have one more thing that I need to show that I ordered. This is a cute little praiseworthy worthy stitches witch ornament that was released. And I did not order this from Brick City. I think I was remiss in ordering this one and somebody had it to offer on Facebook. And so I just snatched that one right up because I think that's adorable. Praiseworthy stitches are some of my favorites too. So many stitches, so little time, you know? I wish we had more time to do the things that we love, but of course we gotta do laundry and cook. And all the other things that are just a necessity, not the things that we like to do. Okay, last but not least, I am going to talk about the winner of Stick Horse Designs cute, adorable little mouse scissor holder. And I drew a name, and it is a Wyatt Attack 06. So if you would please message me, my email, or I'm sorry, email me or message me. My email is in the description box below and or you can contact me via Instagram if we're following each other on Instagram I don't know my Instagram is below too and let me know your address and I'll get that out to you and you're going to love it because I love all the ones I own I bought many for gifts and Tammy XM the maker of these stick horse designs is an amazing nice lady so if you have not contacted her to order yours you need to because she makes these and they're lovely and she's lovely. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap this up because we're supposed to be going out of town and I have not packed and I gotta get some cross stitch things to take with me because I always like to sit and cross stitch and it, it's interesting to, um, the memories, you know, when you're cross stitching, you know where you were when you finished that. It's kind of weird how we, we equate that with where we are in our life and what we were doing. And some of that holds, the memories for us, you know? So it's kind of interesting. I hope that you get to stitch a lot this coming week or weeks. I'm not sure when I'll be back, but I will be back. Um, I like this as a record for me of what I've done and how far I've come and happy stitching. Bye.